the parts are in so it's time to start working on the Dynaco amplifiers. In the center you can see the EL34s. Those are matched quad tubes and below those are the 6GH8A tubes and to the right of them are the adapters and they will take the place of the 7199 tubes. Here I have wiped down the power cord with a little WD-40 and I'll be doing that as necessary. In other words, uh, I've done this about, uh, at this point, about three times and it's becoming much more flexible. There's nothing wrong with the cord but it's very stiff. So wiping it down with WD-40 over a week or so period, I don't know how many times I'll let you know uh, when it's the way that I want it. I'm also adding a little WD-40 to the media that holds the resistors in these variable resistors and also the wafer switches. And that's because over the years the petroleum has evaporated out of these components and I just add just a little bit of WD-40 and I'll be doing this a few times and what that will do is that will put the petroleum back into these components and they will return back to their original size. For those of you that are horrified by putting WD-40 on something, I did this radio. It has to be over 20 years ago now. I use it almost every day and it works perfectly fine. When I first got the radio, this volume control was so shrunk that it wouldn't even make contact in some places. And it's been working now for about 20 years. I like to start with the hardest part first when I'm working on these projects. Here you can see that I replaced the capacitors on the panel where the variable capacitors are. And now it's time to work on the circuit boards. To help find where the capacitor connections are, I have backlit the circuit board and I'm also using a solder braid to help wick out the solder from the connections. And I'm taking my time, being very careful, taking the solder off the circuit board. And I'm using a low watt iron also. It's 25 watts, so I do not damage the circuit board. Now it takes a little while but eventually the capacitors will come out easily and the circuit board is not damaged. Here you can see the results so far. While I've been replacing capacitors I've also been drawing up the wiring diagram and I plan on going through the circuits but in each of these videos I'm going to supply the links to the PDF files for both of these amplifiers because I don't plan on drawing up absolutely every line but enough to explain how the circuits work. Thanks for watching.